Hello boys and girls. Today I'm back. I'm better than ever. I've been MIA. I've been procrastinating and not making videos, but I promise that I'm going to be back on my stuff and I'm going to be delivering the best content possible. So without further ado, today I'm going to be reviewing the new ABH foundation. Now I'm going to just like do the whole my whole face and everything and then like my immediate reaction and then I'm gonna towards the end do a wear test I'm gonna go to work today and I'm gonna see how it withstands I have a six hour shift so we'll see how that goes so I'm gonna start by prepping my skin with the Mario Badescu facial spray let that soak in and then um, I got this new Bosha Porefecting White Charcoal Mattifying Treatment Primer um, I would recommend it if you have oily skin it is very mattifying and it does make your skin feel a little tight but I feel like if you're going for a matte look or if you're oily I have kind of oily skin in the summer if you deal with either of those I think that this would be a really good product for you and a little does go a long way and as always make sure your hands are clean for this I wash my hands before I started so yeah I've just been working a lot and just grinding all summer I'm going on a trip this upcoming week today is Sunday I leave on Wednesday and so I'll be providing a vlog maybe a lookbook just depends what we get into and so I'm really excited about that and then once I get back I'm really gonna get into the grind of things I'm gonna do a lot of videos I'm gonna really be more engaged because honestly I'm the only person stopping myself I'm the only person making excuses I have no real excuses as to why I haven't been filming but your girl's back so um as you see I already did my brows I feel like it's just such a tedious process and everyone has their own way of doing it we're just skipping that entirely and so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes first that way it isn't conflicting with the skin later on so I'm just gonna use my pro concealer from LA girl in the color porcelain as always to prime my lids so we're gonna go on I'm just gonna take any brush and then I'm gonna be using the Too Faced natural matte and it looks like this and so i um, just gonna take the color honey butter it's like a light orange color and I'm just going to pop that into my crease. And just going for a very simple look today. Nothing too crazy, nothing too glam. Because obviously we're very focused on the foundation and what she's like. And then um, I was just popping onto my lid the color Lace Teddy. It's this like light pink color. And just to set it all there in place and so I'm just taking strapless this light brownish color into the edge of it just to deepen that up <sighs> more of that lace teddy and I know I'm gonna get clocked because I just use the same brush for all three colors and I should have changed out my brushes, but whatever, clock me, like, that's just what I do. Yeah, so, hydrate some more with Mario, and let's crack into this. So, I have the Anastasia Luminous Foundation in the color 300C, so they have either cool or neutral that's what c means cool neutral n and so i was gonna get neutral because i'm usually like yellow but this one seemed to look better and i feel like it doesn't look bad 
And so, oh. Oh, it doesn't open like that. <laughs> Yikes. Love that for me. And so, yeah. Let's see what this is all about. So, oh. This is always the scariest part. The first palm. Because you don't know when it's going to oh, come out. Ugh. This is scary. Okay, I'm thinking that that's enough. And then I'm just going to use a regular brush and then I'm going to go in with a beauty blender. And I'm just going to blend that all in. Mm. So far, it feels very light. Like, it doesn't feel like I have anything on. It feels like literally like I'm just using a brush on my face. So I like that feeling because I want full coverage, but I don't want to feel too cakey. I know that that's really far-fetched, but we're going to see what it does for me. Um, yeah. The weather in Florida has been really bad, so my tan is going away. So it's very sad, very depressing. I just want to live my best life and be a tan little mommy. But the way hurricane season is set up, no. I'm just taking a beauty blender to finish blending that out. I don't like having too many foundations at once. I think at most I'll ever have two. Um, I just feel like... Mm. I like having like a light one in terms of weight and then a heavier one because it's like I can use one for day to day and then I can use another one for when I'm gonna beat my face. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. camo concealer in the color light beige and I'm just gonna, this is a lot on here. Oh. She is thickeroni. Dang it. How do I should I just scrape it off onto the side? Oh, that's a lot. Uh. Whoa. Honestly, it does feel like the shape tape. It really does. Wow. Elf, y'all snapped. Oh, didn't make it. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend that out. Honestly, it feels pretty good. So that's done. So I'm gonna just bake using the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. Um, I got this as a gift and because I know that this is very expensive. And I'm an on the budget babe. And this is not in my budget at all. And while that's setting, I'm just gonna bronze myself up using the go to the shade and light palette. I use shadow play. about my cheeks. Gosh. I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt in black brown as my mascara. I really like it, the shape of this brush because it really avoids all types of clumping. I feel like there's no way for it to clump after I do my blush. 
Max Sunbask. Sunbask. Yeah, Sunbask. You know the deal. It's my favorite blush. And I just used an angled flat brush. Okay, another spritz. Keeping it hydrated. Now I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. I'm gonna wait until this dries because I've done the whole thing where like I spray my face and then I do my bottom lashes and then I get it on my cheeks or whatever. Like right under my eye bag. This is the wrong one. I was really about to take my contour brush and highlight with it. <laughs> it would've looked great. I'm um, just using white sand from the Anastasia Glow Kit. Ugh. White sand is my favorite. It's sickening. Look at that. Ugh. It just looks so good. So. Honestly, I snapped on this look. I really like it. Didn't even know where it was going, but. Love it. I'm gonna tell y'all after work how it lasted how it felt and then I'm gonna give y'all the real deal hey guys so I'm back from work and I'm just gonna give a little review some comments about how the foundation worked for me today I would say that it was really good um, as you know I had said that I felt like my pores were showing a little bit but I feel like after a while I kept looking at it and it looked fine um, I wouldn't say that it's the most seamless finish foundation I've ever tried but I think that it's really good it's pretty good coverage I would say it's more medium coverage rather than full coverage I'm not sure if um, I'm not sure if anyone else has said that but but besides that it was really good i don't feel like it got cakey i don't feel like i was oily at all so that's really good so if you have oily skin like me i would highly recommend it i feel like once you bake and set it and everything that you'll be completely fine and it's definitely a good purchase um i feel like considering different foundations this probably wouldn't be my go-to but i think that nonetheless it is a really good foundation i didn't find that it oxidized at all i feel like it just looked really good and um i would recommend it to anyone who likes a medium coverage but besides that it was all right for me i don't know i'm gonna give it a few more tries a few more days and see how i like it and if not i think i'm gonna try the urban decay skin foundation and then between the two see which one I really like and keep it so if you want to see a review on the Urban Decay skin when I get it leave a comment down below remember to follow my social media at the real monarch on everything follow um subscribe comment like and make sure to put notifications on so you can see when I post and as I said earlier in the morning when I was getting ready um, I'm gonna be going on a trip so if you guys want to see anything besides the vlog if you want to see any recommendations of restaurants places to go because I know people like to travel to Colombia as well let me know down below and I'll definitely make videos um, on my recommendations and if you want to see any lookbooks and stuff like that I would definitely do that too so that's it thanks for watching my video and I hope to see you guys here soon bye